welcome to the blog role management tutorial brought to you by WPTutor.com. The blog role management tutorial will go over the basics of adding, removing and editing links on your WordPress blog. To get to the blog role management area, click blog role. And the manage blog role screen will be the first one you see. You can filter which blog role links you see. Choose the category the order they'll be shown in and click update to sort the list. Each item in the list shows you a few details about the links. Name will show you the name of the link. URL is the link's location on the internet. Category shows which categories this link has been placed in. Rel shows the link relationships which we will cover later when we edit this link. Visible notes whether the link is visible on your blog. If it's no, then it won't be seen on the blog. If it's yes, well then it'll be seen like it should be. Edit allows you to change the details of the link. Clicking delete will remove the link completely. To batch process the list of links, use the little check boxes on the right hand side. Clicking on the URL will take you to the location of the link. When you click delete, you will be given a warning that you are about to delete the links. Hit OK to delete the link. Remember there is no undo. Or click cancel to go back to the page. Let's edit this first link so we can see what options are available. The edit links screen allows you to change all the options related to the links on your blog roll. Name is just the name of the link and is the name that will be seen on your blog. The address is the URL of the link. Description provides a short uh, description of what the link is about or whose uh, web page it is. The categories box allows you to sort these links into different categories. They can go into one or many categories or just the default category. Select or deselect the categories by selecting or deselecting the little check boxes next to the category name. Or add a new category by writing its name in the box and clicking Add. The category will appear in the list and is automatically selected. Let's have a look at defining the link relationships. Click on the little plus sign on the link relationship bar and the link relationship box will appear. The little box with REL next to it will show you the link relationship as it would be written in plain text. You do not need to type it in plain text and by selecting the options below this it will be automatically filled in. Identity identifies this link as another website that you own. If you choose this option the other options will not be available. Friendship gives options about the friendship you have with the owner of this site or with this site. It can be a contact, an acquaintance, a friend, or none of these. If you have physically met the person that this link refers to, you can check the met option next to physical. The professional option defines a working relationship with the other person. A co-worker is someone who just works in the same office, not necessarily very close. A colleague is someone who you work much closer with, perhaps every day or every other day, or a superior who you have to report to very often. Geographical defines the physical location of the person this link is referring to. A co-resident is someone who you live with. A neighbor is someone in the neighborhood. And none means, well, they don't live anywhere nearby. The family relationships that can be defined include child, kin, parent, sibling, spouse, or none of these. Romantic has uh, four options including Muse, Crush, Date, and Sweetheart. Now let's explore the advanced links. Click the little plus sign next to the advanced blue bar. Use image address to specify the location of the image associated with the site you're linking to. RSS address allows you to enter the RSS feed URL for the website you're linking to. 
notices for anything else you'd like to specify about the site uh, or the link or the person or whatever and you can rate the link uh, 0 is no rating 1 is the poorest and 9 is the best now we'll look at the target properties blank will force the link to open in a new window or tab top will force the link to break out of a frame if it is contained in one and none will produce a normal link like usually found on websites let's check the visibility options if visibility is set to yes you will see this link on your blog if it is set to no then this link will be hidden on your blog but you'll still be able to access it in the back end to edit it or make it visible in the future click on save changes to save all the changes you've made to this link and the link will appear in the usual list of links thanks for joining us for the blog role management tutorial brought to you by WPTutor.com head on over to WPTutor.com for a whole bunch more tutorials to help you out with getting started with WordPress